Hey everybody, this is Stu from Ukulele Zen. I hope you're having a great day. I am making a quick video here because it's about to rain, <laughs> tiptoeing through the Black Eyed Susans and the Tulips. I wanted to make a quick follow-up video to answer some questions about I'll Fly Away. A couple of people in the comment section asked me about this little lick I was playing at the end of I'll Fly Away. I'm gonna outline that briefly. It's a lick in thirds. I wanted to answer the question. Hey, by the way, the winner of the poll, unless there's a massive influx of votes for Bob Marley's Jammin' or Bob Seeger's Old Time Rock and Roll, the winner right now is Louis Armstrong's When You're Smiling. So it looks like the play along jam track lesson later this month will be Louis Armstrong's When You're Smiling. So thanks for being here. This lick I'm playing, I'm playing it on my high G ukulele. This is a mainland uke, great ukulele. It's super loud too. This thing barks. You can hear it echoing. The lick I'm playing is in the key of G major. So what's nice about G is that you can drone on your string here, your G string. And then what I was doing, I don't remember exactly what I was doing, but it was an improvised lick using the scale played in harmony, played in thirds. Now, learning your scales in thirds uh, is a noble pursuit, and you could try to learn the entire scale, of course. It's a wonderful thing to do. But um, you don't need to know every single position, every single place to begin to make music. I geeked out for years learning all my chords, all my keys, all my thirds, all my sixes. You don't have to do that ultimately it's about making music so let me show you the position that i was playing just a short bit of the full scale and then we'll make some music with it it's really important when you learn this you use the correct fingerings and this is what i mean we'll begin the first pair is the g and the b here on the second and the first string you notice how that's the top of my g major chord but i'm choosing to finger it like this now notice what happens as I move to the next pair. My first finger slides up and it stays on that first string. And that's the third finger in the first finger. Okay, so just get comfortable with that. That first finger is a guide finger. Your touch should be light. It should feel like you're just gliding, just like a, you're skating on ice, okay? So there's the first pair. The next pair is right here played with fingers three and one. Try to use these fingerings and it will be easier. The next pair, you go up two frets, all right? And this is the top of your G major scale. So the thirds often line up with little bits of the chord. The next pair I'm playing is up here. Notice the guide finger was my ring finger. Okay, and we'll add one more here. We'll go here to one and open. And that's the top of my D7 chord. First step, just get familiar with them. You can play these with a steady rhythm. Oh my goodness, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, get comfortable with this. And once you're comfortable with this fingering, notice how my hand, if I took my uke away, it's nice and relaxed, all right? You gotta hang out with this and just get comfortable with your hand. If you come to one of my classes someday, we go deep into this through yoga, qigong, very accessible exercises. Breathe deeply and appreciate the sounds you're making. All right, now, oh my God, it's about to rain. Now, check this out. Thumb and I pinch, thumb and I pinch, thumb and I pinch starts to sound a bit like classical music when you play it this way. Ooh, brown eyed girl. We'll learn that someday. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that. Now let's try some different ways. We'll break it up now. We'll go thumb, index, middle, index. I hope my iPhone doesn't short circuit. Okay, let's try another pattern. You pause the video, learn that one. Thumb, middle, index, middle. For all of these, my hand just feels like there's space. It's nice and relaxed, and my wrist is straight. It's important that this row of knuckles doesn't stick out like this, so you're 
can squeezes it too hard. Tomorrow's lesson, we're gonna play some rockabilly. So go ahead and explore this. One more thing to do is to put it in the context of the song. Here it is. Three, four. I'll fly away. And what I was doing was So many things you could do, and I'd be happy to share them with you, but my uke's getting wet, I'm getting wet, I don't want to get my iPhoto to blow up. I hope you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Ask your question in the comment section below. This is the beginning of a wonderful study of playing scales and thirds. Pause the video and do this old school style. You know, pause the video the same way I learned things from my teachers. They would show me a little nugget, I would uh, digest it. I will of course make tablatures, as you well know, I do that all the time, and I appreciate your support here on this Ukulele Zen channel and on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna get inside and dry off. Thank you so much. Play on, wishing you well. Thanks.